Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. I want to talk about the Corsair Link software for controlling your water cooler. Um, so a couple things I'll point out. First of all, this, this machine's overclocked to 4.8 gigahertz. But you notice here it's not anywhere near 4.8 because we don't have a load on it right now. So it's not until you put a load on it that that actually goes up. Now, um, I typically set this water cooling software to something reasonable and probably where you should just leave it, but uh, you can come in here and modify things, but you kind of need to know what you're looking at. So I'll point out some of the most important things to look at. Uh, one is the CPU package, and so that's the overall temperature of the whole processing die. And you can actually drag this over and drop it in the area where it sort of resides, and that's what I did right there. The other thing um, you, that it monitors is the GPU fan. That's the fan on the video card. It simply monitors it. It does not control it. Then you have the, um, the fans on the radiator. This is very important, and those fans actually reside up here towards the front. And so that's what will make noise if you have noise issues. And lastly, you have the pump, the water pump, which actually is right on top of the CPU package. And those are kind of your key things. We got one more, the H100i V2 temperature. This is a H100i V2. Um, you know, depends on which water cooler you, you get, but um, that's what we have here. So um, let's talk about what, what you may want to modify. So first of all, you have the fan speed here. I have it, it's currently in quiet mode. So it'll slowly ramp up uh, and never go above 60%. And it's keying off of the H100i V2 temperature. And what does this actually mean, the H100i V2 temperature? That's essentially the temperature of the water in the water cooler. And so if you run a really long, full load um, process, this temperature will start to creep up slowly. It's kind of like the radiator in your car. And then as it does, the fans will need to speed up accordingly. You can see right here that the fans actually aren't even spinning right now. Um, but as this temperature starts to climb, they will start to spin. And again, what makes that climb is running a really high CPU load, and I mean on multiple cores. When you're running X-Plane, X-Plane doesn't really leverage more than one core very, very heavily, and then several cores, maybe just 20%. Um, so the other thing we have is the pump. That's the water pump itself. That's what circulates, excuse me, circulates the water through um, the radiator. And I always like to keep that on performance mode. And that runs that pump at a little higher speed because you always want that water circulating through um, and getting, you know, replenished um, as quickly as possible and for the reason that the pump doesn't really make any noise. Sometimes if you listen real carefully, you can hear it, but for the most part, the pump does not make any noise at all. And so I tend to run that in performance mode. So you can see here we're running right at 1,000 RPM on the pump, and we're running zero RPM on the fans. Now what I'm gonna do is enter, and you can see we're also running 1.8 gigahertz on the speed. So I'm going to introduce a synthetic load, um, which is a, pro it's a program that um, calculates prime numbers just over and over and over. And you can see here our CPU load has gone to 100%. All the cores are pegged at the top and are running at 4.8 gigahertz. Um, now over here, you'll notice our pump has gone from 1,000 RPM up to 2,300. So it's circulating that water a little more quickly. And you notice our CPU package has gotten up in the mid-60s, which is fine. Anything uh, under, you would kind of want to stay under 80 if you can. Um, 90 is kind of a red line. And this is Celsius, by the way. You notice up here, this is our uh, temperature of our water. So this is the water in the water cooler. And so right now we're at 30.0, and now we just went to 30.1. And you'll notice over time, if we let this run long enough, that that temperature will just slowly creep up, and as it does, the fans will slowly ramp up. Uh, you can see our fans here are went from zero RPM, actually it's not a good way to look at it, 
from 0 RPM to 900 or so RPM, which is still barely audible. Um, they can hit over 2,000 RPM. So 900 RPM, you're really not picking up much, I don't think, on the microphone. You're actually, the, the fans are a little bit closer to the microphone than I, than I am. So probably not picking any of that up. Again, you can see here we've crept up to 30.5, 30.6 degrees. We've gone up about half a degree. So you see it takes a while at full load to actually heat that water up. So it probably will not be a problem unless you're running something that maxes out the processor for like hours and hours. Again, we're up to 30.8. We still haven't even gone up one full degree yet and we're running 100% full load. So that's sort of a tour of the Corsair Link software. They do have these pre-made profiles like performance. If I switch to performance right now, you're probably going to hear the fans. So I'm going to do that. I'll hit it and listen. Now I can hear the fans a little bit. And you see the fans have gone up to almost 1700 RPM instead of right around 900 to 1000. So the profile I tend to keep it on is quiet and I think that works for most people. Hopefully that helps you better understand the Corsair Link software and how it controls your water cooler.